easier to get to sure. the information. You can even test your core beliefs and how they're affecting you. Oh, fun. The website is www.psych, like psychology, P-S-Y-C-H hyphen K, psych hyphen K dot com. And if they go to that, they can see that belief changing, that was our old, our old idea, an old idea that, that we had to go down and find the source of what the problem is. And, and the reality is, no, uh, you can get to a belief change and change your, gen, your genes essentially through this belief change in minutes. How so just check that, that website. Will do. How does that work? And we'll invite that gentleman to Rob explain Williams. that. Rob Williams, and it's called Psych K, and I've worked with him for 10 years, and it always, because I've changed my beliefs, and we talked about this before, but I did it the old hard way, and it was a lot of work. And once I saw Rob do this, I was, I, I've seen it for, let's see, the first time about 10 years ago, and the first person I saw him work on, in a matter he did, like 12 or 15 minutes, changed her belief, and I know this person today, 12 years later, she, her whole life completely changed from that 12 minutes. Well, what does this have to say that our beliefs in and of themselves can be manipulated from the outside? I mean, that's kind of threatening. What if somebody it, it, well, it's, comes no, in to program us to a death It is detriment? threatening. It is. It is this, our beliefs are always being uh, uh, changed from the outside. What we read in the paper changes our beliefs. If we begin to fear things, we will then put. We will actually change our physiology. You can feel the change of physiology mm -hmm. when you when you get a fear response. You change your blood flow. You change your circulation. You shut down the brain in certain regions. Shut down the immune system and these fear responses. And that's only because we believe something. So and go to the go to a scary movie or just read the newspaper headlines. Well, scary movies are. You know, there, there's a certain amount of excitement that, that doesn't that doesn't hurt us because we know we're we're in the movie. But if you had to do it in real life, it, it would have a whole different physiological effect. <laughs> but but that, this is the truth, and this is what your show has been talking about all the time that we have been cultured and cultivated and shaped into uh, the world that we are because our beliefs have been manipulated. Uh, not not because it was like conspirators. People were manipulating because they honestly believed what they were doing were right. The, the things we've learned, the truths we've held may not be right. And, and your show has is, is consistently tried to say, say that, you know, those things that we, that we believe is hard fact are not necessarily hard fact. Right. Let's examine everything that we think we know from the inside out and take a fresh look at it and demiss the, the falsities out there. Let's re-examine it, those that will... That are true will stand up to our scrutiny. It's quite Absolutely, an adventure. and it's a time for. It was back years ago. There was that old phrase they threw it out: "Question authority." And guess what? Boy, is there a time to say that? It's to, it's now. We have to do that now, because it's just prime that the, the that new beliefs are fundamental because our conventional understanding, mm -hmm. especially in regard to being victims of our genes and genetic automatons, that whole belief system is going out the window. The, the, the genome results reveal that there's a lot more to it than the genes. It's, uh, it's a very exciting process, isn't it, to um, kind of examine your belief system, to examine all that you think you know. It's quite thrilling, threatening, exciting. <laughs> Well, that's what, that keeps us alive, you know. But I think it's very necessary if we're going to get out, out outside the box. Otherwise, we just keep spinning our wheels and we keep repeating the same history that has been lived before us. You know, it's like time for a new story. It's time for a new adventure. It's time to wake up and break out of the old paradigm. So this is part of that process. It seems to me that, Bruce, that this very process is built into us. And we can't help ourselves but to re-examine this. Look at the various shifts through history. Look at the various overturned paradigms that, that lay in our wake throughout our history. This well, is our known recorded good, you know, history. They were good at the time. Even. And, and then there's a period where beliefs, if they don't change and accommodate evolution, then, then the beliefs become stale and rigid and outdated. And when that happens, ultimately a new population buys the, uh, you know, a new belief and the old population is gone and the old belief is gone. And so, w w you know, Darwinian biology, as much as I were it because of what it really means, was absolutely necessary for us to make the steps that we made to get to the point we're at today. But now we must discard beliefs because we must recognize uh, uh, we, we were wrong. There was okay. something wrong in there. Two points. There's a question about Darwin, which I'll get to in a moment from our chat room. But first, I wanted to ask you, given that analogy, that function, this interaction between environment and cell, 
and between an environment and the evolution of a organism. Do you believe also that our belief systems are just adapting to our current state of affairs, that when we construct what we know as this you know, 21st century living, that our belief systems, um, that they, they change in order to accommodate the next step. Maybe, our, maybe all of it's a falsehood, a series of falsehoods. I don't know if there's any absolute truth out there, but it seems to me that, that we go through these paradigm shifts and arrive at a new set of belief systems, paradigms, in order to accommodate where we are now. It's just a, a series, it's one point, a snapshot in the whole evolutionary series strung together. So why should I believe this next, this current one or the next one any more than I would believe a past one? Well, it's the, just the, useful. It's just a useful set of beliefs. But, you know, it doesn't mean we're still not fooling ourselves to a very large degree. I don't know. I think that what science spins out is just the newest series of myths, like the old creation myths and the old myths of old. Science is just spinning out a new set of them. I don't well, know. I, I think that that is very, very true, but the whole process is every time we do that, we find out some little new piece, and the whole idea is, is to keep adding the new pieces and not stopping on the one piece you're at, which is generally what happens when we get into trouble. And, yeah, there's an evolution, and, and it's really, this is, but the, in our history, this is something, a new point in our history at this moment for this process of evolution, and the reason is this. We went from a world that believed in everything being totally spiritual, that every that you know that mm. forces out of our control were involved with shaping the world. That was a long time ago. And through the process, we started to go into a material world, and then started to look at the world that it's just a machine, and that there's nothing else other than the machine parts. And we pushed it now to the end, and this is what the Genome Project finally revealed. There's more to it than just the machine. And the point is now we've covered both spectrums, the spiritual spectrum, and the material spectrum. Let's and come back to balance somewhere in the middle and yeah, include both it. points that's of that's view. Yeah. We will come right back with cell biologist and frequent guest Bruce Lipton. By the way, his videos and previous interviews are available at the Radio Bookstore at 800-243-1438. You'll also find audio archives of previous interviews online at lauralee.com. I'm Lauralee. Morally Online, www.morally.com. All interviews on The Laura Lee Show are available on audio cassette. For information, call 1-800-243-1438. The sweet secret of the herb stevia lies in a complex molecule called steviocide, a glycoside composed of glucose, sulfurose, and steviol, a complex molecule that gives this herb from Paraguay its extraordinary sweetness, 10 to 15 times sweeter than common table sugar. But here's the really extraordinary part. Stevia does not affect blood sugar metabolism. Some studies even report that stevia reduces plasma glucose levels in normal adults. Sweet, nutritious, natural, and good for you. Wisdom of the Ancients introduces Stevia Plus. Take these little packets with you everywhere, containing powdered stevia that equals two teaspoons of sugar in sweetness. Sprinkle on food and beverages alike. I use stevia daily. Add the liquid concentrate to lemon juice and water, and you have refreshing lemonade, and decarbonated water for a soda substitute. Stevia makes any herbal tea taste sweeter and better. Stevia is good for your skin, too, applied externally. Try it. It's versatile, good for you, and sweet without the calories. Wisdom of the Ancient Stevia products are the highest quality available. Call 1-800-243-1438. Laura Lee here on the Laura Lee Show. Our guest is Bruce Lipton. We go back to him with your questions in this next one from the chat room from Blue Max. He says, what does this say about the validity of Darwin's ideas, or at least what we popularly hold to be his theory of evolution? Is the theory dead on arrival now? I would, I would agree that some mechanism of Darwin's works, but it doesn't explain all of the process of evolution. And I think you're putting on the table some of those missing pieces, Bruce. Um, but what about the theory in and of itself? Uh, in and of itself, it's a minor. Uh, it's a minor 
contribution to what evolution is all about. Yeah. It, as you said, it is involved. Remember I mentioned the fact that you can have five different, uh, you know, five bacterial cultures and put them mm -hmm. in five environments and they ultimately will come out.